Okay, so this is what the hole looks like after it's been vacuumed out. Now, the reason we had to vacuum it was because our lovely little ducks and uh, little critters and stuff over there came in here and just started uh, messing with the dirt around the edges and just tossing it into the hole. So, anyway, handy dandy vacuum seems to work great. That's uh, all the dirt that came out of the first hole from over there. And so I'm just going to go ahead and vacuum that one out, and that one, and that one, and that one. And then we have one more back here. So as you can see, this is what's happened to this hole. It's kind of pretty much collapsed. So anyway, that's what we have to do here. All right, continuing on. Here we go. This is the first hole that we dug. Finally had to use the hand breaker. Breaker bar and get down there. At the very end of it, we've got rock bottom right there. So we at least got down about another six or seven inches. So we got at least 18 inches there for this uh, hole. Hole, hole. Okay, so I uh, just finished up getting the holes and stuff done here. And uh, next thing we're going to do um, is uh, basically treat the poles. Let me turn this around so you can see it. Even though we do have ground contact poles and stuff here, uh, we're going to use a, a mix of oil and uh, diesel fuel and mix that up. We're going to actually coat each of the uh, boards. Actually, they're not going to be 4 by 4s They're going to be the 6 by 6s over there. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and coat those. And then, just using this board as an example, uh, whatever it is, if the hole is 18 inches, you know, we'll go up two feet, if it's whatever, we'll come up about three feet and this will be coated, not the end. The end will, be, and everything will be coated with oil. And then from, uh, from this, from right here at this corner, up to top, you know, two to three feet or so, to that point, we're gonna coat it with um, basically a tar, an asphalt uh, sealant um, and then uh, those poles should last us quite some time from everything that I've either seen online or seen what people were doing um, when you do that kind of extra pre-treatment on them uh, some of these poles could last you know 50 to 100 years instead of just uh, five or six years so I only want to do this one time do it right you know the kids down the road decide they want to inherit this just saves a um, you know, a lot of extra maintenance stuff, uh, maintenance down the road on a, a key foundational, you know, integral part of the, the build. All right, that's uh, what we got for today. Now I got to go mix up the stuff and get these these poles coated. See ya.